Howdy, everybody. Good morning. It is 7 a.m. on a Tuesday, on this fine little Tuesday here. And shout out to uh, Spring Forward because we got some good sunlight coming in already, which is awesome. So today we ha actually are hitting a leg day and um, we are going to focus on the quads. So basically for that, um, I'm going to hit the hack squat and we're gonna, we've been hovering around this four plate kind of range. So we'll see if we can add some change on there. Um, we'll see if we can add some weight on there or add some reps and, and hopefully push ourselves to the limit. We did wake up a little bit lighter again. We're so close to breaking 176. We are at 176.2. So hopefully by tomorrow, I'm in the 175s. The scale's just been slowly inching down and the, the little bit of fat that's hiding this six pack is starting to melt away. So long as we're doing our cardio and sticking within our caloric intake, we should be fine. And speaking of dieting, I noticed one of my, my big staples, I think I told you guys this already before, but low carb wraps are essential in my diet right now. Like they are so clutch. I'll just put anything in a wrap. Like what I did yesterday for breakfast, I had uh, uh, fat free cheese, turkey sausage, um, and then you know just sprinkle in or I also put the my, my favorite which is the Trader Joe's hash brown in there that was fire and then put a little bit of um, crushed red pepper because spice is life especially when you're when you're dieting spice is life and I also had some bear chicken or I guess Kirkland's brand of the bear chicken which is in that green bag those are super essential I had that, I had like 12 ounces of that uh, for dinner yesterday. I like saving my, I like saving the bulk of my calories for dinner, not only because I train in the morning, but it feels like a reward. And it feels like you're satiated, satiated all at once. And, um, and of course I didn't, uh, I didn't have any fat free cheese. So we used, uh, put some low fat, low fat sour cream and uh, whipped cream cheese and some uh, pepper flakes. Well, that sounds like a weird combo, but it was pretty fire to me. And I also had like a, a protein shake with some mixed berries. Whenever I have time to make protein shakes, um, I like to whip some up because they're like, you know, only like three, 400 calories. I like to add some PB2 in there for a little bit of thickness. Um, but that was pretty much the whole day yesterday. That cliff bar really put me out of commission. Oh, speaking of cliff bars, I have what I got right now. I have a uh, Rice Krispies that I got from Costco, and they got the they got the pack now. It's like they got chocolate drizzle, they got like a chocolate flavor, and then a, a rainbow candy kind of flavor. Shit, my other one's hiding in here. But speaking of that, guys, your boy got to drink his pre-workout and um, smack a couple of these. Then I'll see you guys on the first working set. All right, guys, this is going to be the first working set. We got four plates on here. Boy kind of got the BGs right now, but it's all good. We're going to try and uh, work through it. Let's get five plus. Shit. Okay.
All right, that wasn't too bad. I actually just stay there, get another uh, at least six in. Whew, shit. God damn. Really starting to feel it with the um, 2,000 calories. <sighs> Your boy want to start bulking again because the weight was moving when we were eating. Holy shit. It's like a, a world full of difference when you're cutting versus bulking. All right, so we actually put a five on. So we really got to tap in on this one. All right, no, we put a 10 on, but we're going for five. Whew, okay. Take a big breath. Oh yeah, and whenever you guys are breathing, make sure you're breathing through your diaphragm so you wanna push out into the belt. Instead of taking a brief breath and shrugging the shoulders up, you wanna breathe outwards. Breathe horizontally, not vertically. All right. Okay, let's see what we got here. Get your footing ready if you're tall enough uh, to unrack it okay come on let's go stay tight come on hey two Okay, that last rep was way more controlled than the second to last rep. If you guys saw that second to last rep, I kind of bounced, bounced out of the hole there. And that's not gonna be the best for hypertrophy. So whenever you're trying to build muscle, you always wanna control the reps at the bottom and the top throughout the whole movement. So don't bounce out of the hole because that's gonna be, uh, Wasted gains. <sighs> Alright, let's rest up. Alright, for this one, we're gonna do single leg, but we're gonna make sure, like, we're keeping the tension on the whole time, so we're not gonna lock out. Let's see here. Actually, we'll start with our right leg, sorry. Plant that other leg firmly on the floor here, and then we'll just kind of do some pulses here. Two, three. Get 15. Oh shit. Whew. That is killer. Okay. We're gonna move up for the next one, but we'll do another 15 with our left leg real quick. Typically we rest a little bit longer, but let's just get right in. I think I got it. take some rest we're gonna put like I think a plate on each side is gonna feel real good yeah with that you can see that I'm not locking elbow away so I'm keeping the tension on the quads I'm driving that knee forward keeping the foot down uh, towards the bottom of the platform all right guys this is the top set 
Start off with the right foot first, I think, right? Okay. I think we did, yeah. All right, same thing. Right there, up, one, right there, two. Oh, that's one, two, three. is burning right now okay Whew. higher reps like that man i feel like i could just jump right into it obviously you're not gonna attack with the same kind of intensity but i could get the same reps if i grind it out let's go especially since my left leg is it's a little bit stronger for me. Fuck, dude. Okay. Honestly, I thought this leg day was about to be fucking ass since I got the BGs, but like, man, we're trying to we're starting to tap in right now. That shit is killer. <sighs> Alright, we'll finish off with leg extensions and sister squats per usual. Oh, shit. Alright, guys. We're going to do a little bit higher reps on this one this time. Let's aim for like 10 to 15 instead of our normal like 5 to 8. Alright. Pull yourself into the machine here. Three. We're gonna control it a little bit. Two. Pause right here. You can see we kind of sped up um, at the end of those ones. And then, oh shit, hold up. Let me change my battery, my camera clip that. Okay, let's hit some sissy squats real quick. Okay, remember, push your hips forward. This. That's good. Now, let's go one more set, and then we'll be done. Get a little physique update. Oh shit! All right, top set. Three, Pull yourself into some shit. Control it. Two. There's where we get like nine or ten. Swap it. Okay. Three. Get right into it. Stretch. Up. 
like my fucking um, adductor is working for some of these exercises because we haven't done that for a while <sighs> but like especially like on the single leg leg press if we're getting deep enough we're gonna work the adductors anyway we just like to isolate them sometimes all right let's get a little physique update then we got our cardio and we out Oof. all right guys we're gonna do a little physique update but damn this motherfucker is hella sweaty Okay. Okay. Again, all the blood is in my legs right now, so we're kind of flat up top. Whew. But man. I mean, we're looking pretty good as far as leaning out already with the uh, calories we're at. I mean, I can't complain at all. <sighs> and the strength is, I mean, the strength ain't, ain't too bad either, especially at 176. But man, when we touch the 160s, it's about to be nasty. Okay, yeah, the 160 is about to be sick. We just gotta keep sticking to what we're sticking to. And when you're cutting, you wanna make sure that you're trying to work with the same kind of working weight when you were bulking, but just do less reps. Cause that's what's gonna help keep the muscle on. So if you're working with four plates on the hack squat when you were bulking for 10, do it for six to seven or whatever you could do. Cause as long as you can keep that strength, you're gonna make sure you're gonna maintain that muscle mass. But we got, we did 16 minutes on the Stairmaster this morning. So we got four more minutes left and then we out. I'll see you guys tomorrow for another installment of the cut. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.